What's up Geeksters? It's me Omar from Geekster Labs and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys some tips on what you can do in case you accidentally delete files off of your camera's SD card on your computer or on the camera. So let's check it out. Okay, so there's many different ways you could have accidentally deleted files from your SD card. So let's go over the scenarios that are easier to fix first. So if you had the SD card in your Mac and you dragged files to the trash or just right click on them and, and selected move to trash and then ejected your SD card, you actually didn't really delete them. So if you don't see the photos or video clips on your camera, you can still get them back as long as you didn't empty the trash while the card was being accessed on your Mac. The files can still be easily restored back to the SD card by following these simple steps. All you have to do is insert the SD card back into your Mac, then click on the trash can icon in your dock, and you'll be able to see the deleted files are still there. When you find the files you want to restore, just drag them back to the SD card, and then you'll be able to view them on the camera again. Keep in mind though that the deleted files in the trash will only remain there for 30 days. After that, the deleted files will be removed automatically and permanently by your Mac. But what if you have emptied the trash can? Okay, here's one option that might be available to you, and that is restoring deleted files via Time Machine Backup. So if you have enabled Time Machine Backup, then you can still recover files that were in the trash can, even if the trash was emptied. Time Machine is Apple's like free backup solution for Mac if you're not already familiar with it. So to do this is real simple, you just launch Time Machine on your Mac, you find the specific files you wish to restore using the on-screen up and down arrows to locate them. And finally, when you click on the restore button, then the deleted file would be returned to its original location. But what if you don't have Time Machine set up on your Mac? Well then you're going to need some serious help and this is where today's sponsor, Disk Drill, comes to the rescue. So Disk Drill is like a really easy to use software for Mac or PC for recovering permanently deleted files in just a few easy steps so the the free version will let you evaluate uh, the recovery results completely by previewing the found files before recovery but to actually recover the files you'll need to purchase the $89 pro version and it doesn't matter if you deleted the files on your Mac or if you accidentally deleted them on your camera or even if you completely formatted the ST card in the camera disk drill can actually still help you restore those files in order to restore them using disk drill you just follow these steps you insert the SD card into your Mac you launch the disk drill application if you're not already using it to monitor your drives and select the SD card that you want to find the files on and click recover. The software will begin to find all the files it can from the drive and this will take a few minutes. After the scan it will display all the recovered files and you can preview the target files and click the recover button to restore the deleted files. You'll be surprised how old some of the files are that it's able to retrieve. Now, it's not guaranteed that you'll be able to retrieve all the files that have ever been deleted, but in those cases, you can work with Disk Drill's support team to try and access specific files. So that's pretty much it. It's a very easy to use program, but it can really help you in a pinch. And so this is just one function that Disk Drill is capable of doing. You can actually also do things like create bootable USB drives, find and remove duplicate files, uh, free up storage that's being taken up by unused files. You can even recover files off of your Android and iOS devices as well. So I hope these tips were helpful to you. And if you have any questions, please post them down below in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer any of those questions for you guys. If you want to check out some of my other videos, I got two of the clips over here you can click on. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you click on my face and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they get dropped. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.